Shawn Wong. Call him like Nga, you how about Shimmy Hong Shai? Uh, Shim, Rakak Wadash. Double nuns to the Els and the Apostles, a great man's son who wrote well. Shawn Wong to the 144,000, one third remnant men, women, and children of the home for elect Shawn Wong. That's the brother Gabar Yash coming back at you with another quick lesson. Who the Spanish power you have about Shinyao Shire Press and let's be at the straight to the point. Now what these devils are up to, man. <laughs> these devils are definitely up to something. Something big is about to take place, man. And it's gonna take place during what? That solar eclipse, which happens next month on the eighth. Okay, which is basically next Monday. Okay. Not this Monday coming up, but the next Monday after. So these devils, they finna fool with CERN, okay? Finna open up some portals or something to that effect. So let's read a... F I'm gonna read about a couple of articles. I'm not gonna read all of this. I'm just gonna read a few out of this. Okay, now praise let's be here if I straight to the point. This is from the People's Voice TV, and it says... CERN particle accelerated to fire up during solar eclipse. And they also talking about shooting rockets at the eclipse. Boy, Esau is getting... <laughs> this devil's about to lose his mind, man. It says the European Organization for Nuclear Research CERN particle accelerated to be used to search for hidden particles during the April 8th solar eclipse. The large hardened cil cylinder smash protons to into each other to burst them open and study the sub subatomic particles inside them. During April's eclipse, the team of scientists will be trying to prove the existence of dark matter, which is estimated to up to make up around 28% of the universe despite never being seen. These devils are always doing something, ain't got no fucking business, man. I tell you. <laughs> Unbelievable. This person said on X, it says, according to scientists, a CERN, a mysterious entity was detected inside their particle cylinder. Physicians claim they have captured and cultivated, not snarky, calculated the characteristics of a ghost-like structure, <laughs> an invisible entity that can alter the path of particles. Man, get the hell out of here with this bullshit. <laughs> oh, man, you can't make this shit up, man. I ain't gonna read the rest of this, man. Oh, Lord have mercy. Let me get a quick scripture, man. I tell you, these devils here. <laughs> you can't make this shit up, man. These devils are something else. Let's get this scripture, man. 2 Corinthians 2 and 11. <clears throat> the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 11. Let Satan should gain the advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. So that's their excuse from trying to open up CERN and doing some stuff because they think, oh man, I'm not. <sighs> man, the glory how about Shim Yasha cannot come fast enough. <laughs> Seriously. Let's get it up. Here's some more art. Here's another one. It says, there's another one. It says, CERN's to test large hardened hardron. Cylinder during upcoming solar eclipse. So these devils about to do something, man. Something big is about to take place. I right, just like the last time they did this, man. Okay, and some stuff happened. I right, like with that Georgia Guidestone being destroyed. Ain't no telling what they gonna do when they do it this time. Something's gonna be gonna happen, man. A Pandora box of craziness is about to happen. 
says scientists working at the large hard drone cylinder operated by CERN have revealed that it will be fired up to search for hidden particles as the upcoming April 8th solar eclipse take place. I'm not even going to read that. I'll put these articles in the description box. You can read them for yourself. And with that going on, they're talking about this. Okay, it says NASA to fire rockets at Eclipse and CERN ready to start up again. Yeah. So then, so NASA is talking about firing some damn rockets at the Eclipse. Seriously? <sighs> anyway, let's get some scriptures, man. Because these devils are going nuts. Let's get this scripture, man. Revelation 12 and 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. And woe means destruction. For the so now, yeah, woe to let me read that again. Revelation 12 and 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he had but a short time. So we know something big is about to take place, man. With these devils doing this, man. Okay? Let's get this scripture. <coughs> Excuse me. It's lucky. <clears throat> Hold on, let me drink drink a water right quick. Snog <clears throat> <Locking>. in. <clears> Throat <throat> kind of dry. There we go. All right. Snog in. Sorry about that. Isaiah 29, verse 15. <clears throat> Woe unto them that seek thee to hide their counsel from the Lord, how about you all shine their works are in the dark? And they say, Who seeth us and who knoweth us? <clears throat> Okay, yeah. These devils think that the Lord how about Shin Yashai don't see them, man. Okay, so these devils, they going to do something, man. Which is going to set off a huge domino effect of things happening, man. Okay. <clears throat> Let's go here. The book of Daniel chapter 12 and verse 1. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince was standing for the children of thy people. And there should be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation even to that same time. And at that time thy people shall be delivered, everyone that shall be found written in the book. And that's the elect, man. <clears throat> so if the Lord don't come back, man, there ain't no flesh going to be saved, man. Let's get that scripture. Because these devils are about to go crazy, man. I'm telling you. That's why they tell them folks to stock up on food and all of this stuff, man. Because, hey, with them these devils doing that and trying to shoot rockets at the damn eclipse, man. <laughs> man. Anyway, Matthew 24, verse 21. For then should be great tribulation such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, no, nor ever shall be. Verse 22, and that said, those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved, but for the elect sake, those days shall be shortened. So the Lord in how about me outside is shortening the days for the elect sake. Let's go to Joel 2 and 1. <clears throat> Joel chapter 2 and verse 1. Blow ye the trumpet in Zion, and sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble for the day of the Lord in how about me outside coming, for it is nigh at hand. So the day of the Lord, how about Shin Yao Shai is close, man. Let's read this. Verse 2. A day of darkness and of gloominess, a day of clouds and of thick darkness, as the morning spread upon the mountains, a great people and a strong. There have not been ever the light, neither shall be any more after it, even to the years of many generations, man. So that nuclear destruction it's close at hand, man. The destruction of Babylon, the great American, man. Okay? Let's go here to Zephaniah 1. And let's read verse 14 through 18. <clears throat> Zephaniah chapter 1 and verse 14. 
The great day of the Lord Yahabashin Yashai is near. It is near and hasten greatly, even the voice of the day of the Lord Yahabashin Yashai. The mighty man shall cry there bitterly. Verse 15. That day is a day of <clears throat> wrath, a day of trouble and distress, a day of wasteness and desolation, a day of darkness and gloominess, a day of thick sorry, a day of clouds and thick darkness, man. So it's gonna be a day like no other, man. Okay, we're approaching Jacob's trouble, man. Okay. Verse 16, a day of the trumpet and the alarm against the fence cities and against the high towers. Verse 17, and I will bring distress upon men that they shall walk like blind men because they have sinned against the Lord Yahweh by Shion Shai. And their blood shall be poured out as dust and their flesh as the dung. So there's a lot of dead people. So hey, a lot of judgment is about to go forth, man. Okay, there'll be dead bodies all over Babylon and throughout the four corners of the earth. So judgment is about to come, man. Okay, and the Lord how about Shin Yao Shai is about to use his left left hand side to issue out the judgment among two thirds of our wicked ass people, wicked ass Israelites, man. These heathens and these Edomites, man. Okay. Verse eighteen. Neither their silver. Nor their gold shall be able to deliver them in the day of the morning high by Shinyal Shah's wrath. But the whole land shall be devoured by the fire of his jealousy. For he shall make even a speedy remnant of all them that dwell in the land. Okay. So this place is about to get hey, judged, man. No. Let's go here. <clears throat> this is Job five, so like Job chapter fourteen, verse five. So like you. Seeing his days are determined, the number of his months are with thee. With thee, thou hast appointed his bonds that he cannot pass, man. So this devil's got a limit that he is not going to be able to pass, man. So let him play with CERN. Let him do what he want, man. Okay. Because, hey, we know these devils are about to come down with great rap because they know they got they got a short time. So they're about to do all kinds of crazy shit, man. Okay? <clears throat> and it's going to be during the damn April 8th eclipse, man. So all kinds of crazy shit's about to take place. There ain't no telling, man. Okay? So, <clears throat> these devils going crazy, man. But the Lord ain't high about Shinyao Shai. He's going to spoil these devils, man. Let's go here. Psalms 33 and verse 10. The Lord ain't high about Shinyao Shai bringing the counsel of the heathen to not. He make the devices of the people of none effect. Yeah. So. <laughs> Let's see anything else I got. Oh, let's get this. I just thought about this, man. Yeah. All right, let's start at verse 8. This is uh, Ezekiel chapter 21 and verse 8. Again, the word of the Lord, Yahweh came unto me, saying, Son of man, prophesy, say, Thus said the Lord, Yahweh say, A sword, a sword is sharpened and also furbished. And who this devil's about to use his blessing, okay? Because he's pissed off. He's mad. He's angry that his world is coming to an end. His rulership is coming to an end, man. So, hey, <laughs> this devil's about to do a whole lot of killing. All right? And the Lord, how about Shia is going to use this devil to do a whole lot of killing? Let's get to the scripture. Psalms chapter 17, verse 13. <clears throat> I ain't read this one in a while. Psalms 17, verse 13. Arise, O Lord, how about Shia Shai? Disappoint him. Cast him down. Deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. And that's Esau, even the so-called white man, man. Okay? Let's go to Revelation 6 and 4. Revelation chapter 6 and verse 4. And there went out another horse that was red, and power was given to him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth. It's talking about Esau, even the so-called white man. And that they should kill one another. And there was given unto him a great sword. That's Esau's blessing, man. Genesis 27 and verse uh, 40, man. Okay. By thy sword thou shalt live. 
And this devil has led by the sword. But he's going to die by the sword too. Okay. The Lord in Yahweh is going to allow this devil to hey, kill two thirds of our people. These wicked ass Israelites. These so called Negroes. Latinos named American. These proud ass Israelites man. That don't got no shame. And no you know. <clears throat> no shame in their game. Love being wicked. Love Babylon the great America man. Judgment is about to come upon two thirds man. So hey. This devil's about to open up a Pandora box of evil. Okay? Crazy shit's about to go down once they do that, man. And I already know it, man. Something big is about to come. Something big and something huge is about to happen, man. Us brothers can feel it in the spirit, man. And I'm quite sure you few sisters can feel it too, man. We're at the end of Esau's rulership, man. Okay? Back to Ezekiel chapter 21 and verse 9. Son of man, prophesy and say, Thus saith the Lord, how about Shinyal Shai? Say, a sword, a sword, is sharpened, and it also furbished. Verse 10. It is sharpened to make a sword slaughter. It is furbished that it may good. Should we then make mirth? Should we be in a, re a rejoiced state? No. It contented the rod of my son as every tree. Verse 11. And he had given it to be furbished that it may be handled. This sword is sharpened and it is furbished to give it into the hand of the snare, man. And that's Esau, even the so-called white man. And he's about to use his blessing too. This devil ain't going down without a fight, man. Okay? <laughs> he gonna go down swinging. <clears throat> Verse 12. Cry and howl, son of man, for it shall be upon my people. You wicked two-third Israelites, man. Those that know that they're Israelites and those that don't know, okay? It shall be upon all the princes of Israel's terror by reason of the sword shall be upon my people smite therefore upon thy thigh, okay? So great judgment is about to come upon Babylon the great America and throughout the four corners of the earth, man, okay? So <laughs> these devils ain't doing that shit for nothing, man. And they're using this April 8 eclipse to do this. So, crazy shit's about to go down, man. Okay? So, stay circumspect. Let's get that scripture. <clears throat> Let's get that scripture. Ephesians 5 and verse 15. Let's get that and we're going to close it out with this. Ephesians 5 and 15. See then that ye are circumspectly. That means to look around. Pay attention. Be circumspect, man. Pay attention to your surroundings. Not as fools, but as wise. Redeem the time because the days are evil. Yeah. Evil days are upon us. Jacob's trouble, man. Jeremiah 30 and 7. Daniel 12 and 1. So stay circumspect, man. Pay attention to what's going on. Like he tells you in Proverbs chapter 22 and verse 3. A prudent man foresee the evil and hide himself, but the simple pass on and are punished. How we're hiding ourselves. This is wisdom and knowledge and this understanding of you. How about Shemiel Shah? Let's get that scripture. Let me go and get off with that. Excuse me. Isaiah 33 and verse 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord, how about Shemiel Shah, is his treasure. Okay? Say circumspect. Continue to pay attention to the prophecies, man. Because prophecy is about to jump off the pages, man. Ain't no telling what these devils going to do with this certain thing, man. You already know what they going to do, man. But, hey, it's all good, man. Because the Lord, how about you, y'all shy? He got us. Okay? So, with that, I'm going to end it here. I pray this quick lesson was edifying and straight to the point. All praises and glorifications go to you. How about you, how shy? Hashem, Rakak, Wadash. It's all to the next one. Shawan, Kwame Yashirala, and Ababa Ball. Shawan.